fan, I'll be honest. I don't know if like... Does the mouse input feel off? Yeah, it does. It does indeed. I don't know, man. I, I, I'd love for it to just be copium. I don't know if that's the case. It just feels clunky, dude. It feels weird. I, don't, I, I actually... Like, I, I really just don't even know how to explain what it is, but... What is going on guys, my name is 4 here on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. Today I have some fantastic news about Modern Warfare 3, specifically the Modern Warfare 3 Season 2 patch, because Sledgehammer Games has finally done some great stuff. I don't want to say finally, they've been doing some great stuff with this game in general. But what I mean by that is they are doing some great stuff when it comes to the mouse and keyboard issue, which I say finally because it's been three months, so it's better late than never, I'll tell you that much. So they, whoever's been working on it over at Sledgehammer Games, thank you because you guys have been doing uh, some great things fixing up this game because I actually really like this game. And this problem completely prevented me from playing mouse and keyboard ever because I was just at a constant disadvantage and it felt like garbage to play. The only time I played mouse and keyboard was zombie because I mean it's zombies I'm not gonna be at a disadvantage against AI but I uh, you know when I'm playing against controller players it's not fun to play now I'm not saying this fixes up the issue with Amos as being incredibly strong because it doesn't uh, Amos is, is still gonna be you know controller players are still gonna be at an advantage for sure but it helps the balance a lot more because before it's like what is the point of keyboard and mouse at all in this game no point whatsoever now we're seeing some points it's kind of like model for 2019 because that's all this does basically what they fixed was the sway the sway issues where first of all when you ads there was way more sway on your gun than there used to be in older call of duty games they have fixed that the other thing is when you move left and right your crosshair did not stay in the center of the screen now it does like it did in every other call of duty game in vanguard in cold war in Modern Warfare 2019 in every other call of duty before that they had a thing uh, very simple like it is in every first person shooter where the crosshair would stay in the center of the screen and when you ads your iron sights, your red dot sight would go in the center of the screen. A crazy idea, right? In Model for 222, they changed that where when you move left and right, it's kind of like realistic or they're trying to be realistic where the gun would have weight pretty much to it. It's stupid, man. It's fine. Whatever. It's it's not Arma, all right? This is not Arma. It's not Insurgency. It's not whatever else mill sim games that I don't even know about because I don't play mill sims. Whatever. It's not one of those games. It is Call of Duty. And also, when you're sacrificing gameplay and the, the feeling of the game for real realism i think then you're you've gone too far man you've gone too far and just in my opinion right there especially when you're making a call of duty game but either way all right that's infinity ward sledgehammer games came out and they fixed all of this and they have made it now that the crosshair stays in the center of the screen where it's supposed to be so when you go to flick for an example as you normally do on a mouse you can have an idea based off of skill of where your crosshair is going to land pretty much when you move left and right it's not there's skill involved a little bit but then also it's not going to be exactly where you put your cross hair and it just made for an awful experience playing on keyboard and mouse anybody who says that the controller was never at an advantage is just you're just terrible at the game i i hate to break you i don't mean to be rude man but that's just the case all right the, or you've never played on keyboard and mouse and you think that these types of people these top tier players that are just absolutely slaying looking like they're cheating i don't think he is either way point is he's just swiping back and forth people think that those are every player who uses keyboard and mouse why don't you play keyboard and mouse then <laughs> if you can play like that why aren't you playing keyboard and mouse it's because you can't play like that that is not everyone that takes thousands of hours of play time to get that good not gonna happen just by picking it up right whereas a controller the average controller player could easily beat the average keyboard and mouse player in call of duty i'm not saying in other games i don't know although typically in some other games like apex for an example where pro players switch to controller but even in apex i at least felt like there was not really the game still felt good to play on keyboard and mouse even if the aim assist was incredibly strong and I technically could be in a disadvantage I don't know I wouldn't say that that's the case though in apex even with the strong aim assist because I could actually move my gun and it would go where I aimed in model for three and model for 222 well model for three up until now you couldn't do that it was just completely random when you move the left and right swayed and it felt terrible on a controller you would feel this a little bit more um, but not just not as much as it would be on a keyboard and mouse first of all you got aim assist to keep you on target um, which helps a lot when it comes to that sway thing which i don't even know why they added it at that point because it just doesn't do much when you have a controller and that's like the primary demographic of players that they're trying to go for they're trying to go for controller players because that's the majority of players i don't know why you would even add this in the first place it's almost like they were purposely adding it to further nerf keyboard and mouse i don't know but regardless of the reasons they have fixed it sledgehammer games you guys are doing some fantastic things with this game and i just absolutely i, I really love this game this game definitely is the best call of duty game since black ops 3 i do not care i don't think the dlc will 
it turned into an amazing game from a DLC to an amazing game and Sledgehammer Games doing some great stuff but either way one more thing I do want to talk about uh, has nothing to do with the aim assist or, or whatever the mouse keyboard input I just want to talk about the maps that they added just real quick um, they added the model for 222 maps into the quick play playlist so pretty much all of the maps that were in the model for two mosh pit or whatever it was called are now in quick play they're not just gonna be in their own little playlist I guess they were just testing it out with that playlist and now they put them into quick play which I think is fantastic because it actually these maps actually play so much better on this game than they did on that slow trash from last year. People actually move around. It's crazy, man. They actually move around, and there's actually fun being had. And I'm talking about 6v6, because there's no 10v10 for these maps. Still, I looked at the 10v10 mode. Uh, they didn't add anything with 10v10, which that's something I will say. Sledgehammer Games, add some more maps to 10v10. Every map in this game should be in 10v10. I don't care. Every single map. I, I don't know, why, why is Afghan, for an example, not in 10v10? That doesn't make any sense. It was in 12v12, it's in 6v6, but it's not in 10v10. That doesn't make any sense. Add every single map. Add Scrapyard to that. Add these new MW2 maps to the 10v10 playlist, because I love the 10v10 playlist. Uh, I think it's, it makes it way more fun to play the game. I like the, the chaotic nature, but uh, it's getting a little uh, boring to play the same maps over and over and over again. So, uh, yeah. Also, why are the new maps not added in that? Maybe they're really small. I haven't played them at all yet, so either way. So, pretty much, this adds Farm 18, Mercado La Salma, uh, the Crown Raceway or whatever it's called. They added the Greenberg Hotel, I believe it's called, and then Shoot House. But also they added Dome. I don't know how true this is because this wasn't in the Mosh Pit playlist before, but I saw this on Twitter and stuff. People talking about how Dome was added from the model for 222 version of MW3's Dome. The OG MW3 this is getting confusing already. Saying all these different MW2, MW3, whatever. Anyways, Dome from the original model for 3 has been added into the Quick Play playlist from what I've heard and that sounds amazing as well. I feel like that should have been there from launch because, come on, man, it's Dome in MW3. And you need that in MW3. Um, I'm, so I'm excited to play that and see how it plays on this game instead of MW2. MW2 even felt slow unless I play 10v10, which is crazy to say because it's Dome. It's a tiny map. But anyways, there's not much else to say about this. Uh, season 2 is looking pretty great. I'm looking forward to it. Grinding the Walking Dead Battle Pass pretty much. That's pretty much what I'm looking at it as um, because I want to get that Rick Grimes skin. And uh, yeah. What do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you're new here and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.